And the U.S. Federal Emergency Management Agency has estimated that rebuilding Lahaina will cost billions for more on the economic fallout from the fire. I'm joined here by Friends24 Business Editor Yuka Royer. Yuka, great to see you. This historic center of Lahaina almost completely destroyed the cost of recovery, uh, no doubt to be staggering. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, staggering indeed. I mean, the pictures tell us everything. It's just destruction as far as the eye could see. Uh, thousands of buildings have been destroyed, over 2,000, uh, and billions of dollars will be needed to rebuild them. Now, there's also the cost of providing immediate relief to the people who've lost everything, not just their homes, but everything that they owned. Uh, 4,500 people are estimated uh, to be in need of emergency shelters and 9,000 meals at least will be needed every day. And now Hawaii ranks 41 out of 51 US states in terms of GDP. So its economy is relatively small, uh, but since it's overly reliant on tourism, it's not going to be simple to rebuild the economy. Let's take a listen to what Hawaii's governor had to say earlier. And when I say destruction, having been at Ground Zero twice, uh, there is very little left there. Now, what does that mean? That means that over 2,700 structures were destroyed uh, in Lahaina and an estimated value of $5.6 billion has gone away. So you got uh, visitors have evacuated uh, and not likely to come back soon. That's going to make uh, recovery even more difficult, won't it, as Maui's uh, economy is so reliant on tourism? Well, like the rest of Hawaii, Maui, uh, tourism is the lifeblood for Maui. 86% uh, of every dollar is generated by the industry. 75% of jobs in the private sector is related to tourism. For the local government, it's also important. It's an important source of income. It gets more than $20 million annually in extra revenue from hotel room tax, mostly paid, obviously, uh, by visitors. Now, according to Hawaii's tourism board, the first is... Uh, about 1.5 million people have visited the island uh, in the first six months of this year. That's up more than 5% compared to the same period in 2022, uh, but still way below pre-COVID levels, Brian. Obviously, the island was hit hard by the pandemic and it was only just starting to recover. And at the height of the summer holiday season, we're seeing visitors leaving en masse and not, uh, and not coming. And now locals have just no idea what the future holds for them. Let's take a listen to some of them. There's no real jobs around anymore, <laughs> um, you know, around in town or anything. And like I said, the bakery where I worked is burned down. You'll walk down some of these streets and you, you don't even recognize which street you're on anymore. It's going to be a long time, if not. So it's just, it's just kind of hard in that way. To be honest, I don't know if it's ever going to be livable again. I don't know if we're going to, I mean, what's all this is like? looks still smoldering. It's toxic or hazardous. I don't know. So, Yuko, we've been talking about uh, these residents who have lost their homes and everything they own uh, in them. This is on an island that was already facing a housing shortage even before this fire hit, isn't it? Well, the fire engulfed everything in its path, but unfortunately, 86% of the destruction uh, was in residential areas. Now, Maui is home to some luxury uh, luxury resorts and second homes of some of the uh, known billionaires, such as Jeff Bezos and Oprah Winfrey. But the Lahaina fire destroyed vast swathes of ordinary homes uh, of middle-income families, those who work in the tourism industry, who support it, as well as police officers and government uh, employees and and so forth. And homes have become, had already become less and less affordable for the middle income families. Uh, according to a recent start study, over half of middle income families were already struggling to pay their rent, accounting for over a third of their income. The disaster obviously is only set to exacerbate the problem. Indeed, uh, a really tragic situation uh, there on Maui. France 24 business editor Yuka Roya, thanks so much for that uh, analysis. Thank you.